We are going to show you the whole process from purchasing the hosting to installing AA panel and then installing WordPress. To install WordPress using self-hosting, we first need to purchase a suitable host. Here we use the server provided by Volta. Select your CPU type. This video is only for testing, so we choose shared CPU. Choose a server location that matches your business region. Select the image. AA panel recommends you to use Ubuntu. Choose a server configuration that is suitable for our business. If you are just starting a business, we recommend that you purchase the lowest configuration. We recommend using automatic backups to restore in case of disaster. After the selection is completed, we click the Deploy Now button and wait for the host deployment to complete. Now we start to install AA panel. The whole process is very simple. Log into the server through the terminal tool. Fill in the server SSH login information one by one into the terminal tool and click connect. Go to the AA panel website, click the install button to enter the installation page, copy the command and paste it into the terminal and press enter to start the installation. Wait for about two minutes for the installation to complete. After the installation is complete, we can copy the login information from the terminal to log into the AA panel. After logging into AA panel, select the environment package according to the recommended. The environment installation process takes about 7 minutes. On the home page, we can see basic operating information such as server CPU, memory, disk, network traffic, etc. On the settings page, we can modify the panel port, account password, and language. On the website page, we can easily create a website by uploading source code. We use the server IP to create a website for access testing. Here we can modify the default page used when we created the website. You can easily edit, upload or download code through file management. We can also apply for and automatically renew free SSL certificates. On the FTP page, we can easily manage FTP service status, port modification, account status, account password, access log and other information. On the database page, we can easily add a database, manage the MySQL root password manage MySQL through from MyAdmin. We can set access permissions and use MySQL tools to manage data tables. In the File Manager page, we can easily manage all the files of the Linux server upload files, download files through URL, search file contents, and other functions, just like using Windows. On the Cron page, we can set various automated tasks, such as scheduled script execution, data backup, and URL access. After creating, we can click the execute to test whether the task can run. On the app store page, we have hundreds of common environments and exclusive plugins that can be installed. Here we test and install a Redis. 
After the required operating environment is installed, we start installing WordPress. It should be noted that we need to log into the AA panel account to use WordPress Toolkit. The registration process is very simple. Because it takes some time for the domain name resolution to take effect, it is recommended to resolve the domain name at this time. We use Cloudflare for domain name hosting, copy the server IP, log into Cloudflare and add a domain name record. Enter our information, we recommend that you check the cache function to speed up WordPress access. After the installation is complete, our WordPress is now accessible.